I visited both the Republican and the DFL pavilions on the first day of the Minnesota State Fair. The Minnesota State Fair? Well, it's kind of like Coney Island, but without an ocean, and like Calcutta, but without a dress code. The Bernie Sanders team was at the DFL Pavilion. It's a, it's a noisy place. I couldn't really tell if these millennials were pitching for Bill Clinton or, or Hillary. The guy kind of looks like Bill. But because they didn't ask for my email address, I figured it was Hillary. Lieutenant Governor Tina Smith prompted a lot of smiles. I'm hoping she runs for governor. Complete with cardboard cutouts, the DFL Hall of Heroes. Interesting. The Republicans also had uh, these cardboard cutout figures. And I'm sensing a uh, photo op. Did you vote for Ronald Reagan? Yeah. Were you happy with the, his results? I was. Yeah. You, you wish he were still around? I do. All right. We all miss him. In politics, it's uh, all about who you know. Back in 1989, after lunch with Don Trump, Ron, George Sr., and myself had some pal time in the theater district. Oh, come on. This is no Photoshop trick. <laughs> But it is uh, proud as uh, Governor of Minnesota has declared today, Ye Old Mill Day in the state of Minnesota. So congratulations. Earlier at Ye Old Mill, Governor Mark Dayton and the mayors of Minneapolis and St. Paul helped celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Antique Tunnel of Love ride. Well, I've never been sure whether the state fair is in Minneapolis or in St. Paul. Well, I think they should share the fair, you know. It's, all I know is it's in Minnesota. And, and I like to claim it for St. Paul, but we're actually in Falcon Heights. So I, I celebrate... You know, between you and me, Peter Lindstrom, the mayor of uh, Falcon Heights, should have been invited. Two-thirds of his small suburban town's geography includes not only this throwback to simpler times, but the U of M's farm campus and golf course and one of America's top state fairs. Stand proud, Mr. Mayor. The most impressive, uh, maybe the most poignant thing at the fair for me was inside the Eco Experience Pavilion. This spinning mass of garbage is made from plastic bags, the kind we carry out of Walgreens, Target, and Cub Foods. They call the assemblage, this, this giant sculpture, Bagnado. <laughs> it's well named. Science says that it takes 500 to 1,000 years for plastic waste to disintegrate. The stuff has become a pox on mom nature, her children, and our only home. Think about that as you walk out of Kowalski's or Walmart. Now only a few American states and cities and a couple of countries recycle or ban plastic bags. Although St. Louis Park and Minneapolis are considering controls, the rest of us are lazy. It's time for Minnesotans to manage their use of plastic bags. And it's also time for the legislature to take some action. Democratic Visions is independently crafted by volunteers, mostly Democrats, from Eden Prairie, Minnetonka, Edina, and Bloomington.